All right, what's up, guys? Just to do a quick video of fast on my iPhone. I'm looking at the camera. Um, so this is what's going down. These are all aftermarket wheels. Not gonna say the brand. Obviously, I'm in college. I can't afford like actually nice wheels. So I got these ones. They're like 200 a piece, and they're not bad. They don't look bad. Obviously, like I don't have center caps or anything, so it's not like uh, legit. But I'm just gonna show you a reason why you shouldn't buy aftermarket wheels. And these are cast. And if you look right here, I already had messing with it to focus on iPhone. There we go. This right here is just some stuff. Um, there's actually a small air leak coming out of the uh, aluminum part of the wheel. I'll spray some stuff on it and see if you can tell. Come on, iPhone. Yeah, so as you can see, there is definitely an air leak coming out of it. Like, in every like three, every like two days to three days, I gotta put air back in this wheel. It's really annoying because for the longest time I thought I had a bad tire, so I rushed myself to buy new tires. And what ended up happening was I thought it was like the stem, it wasn't the stem, it was just literally a small air hole coming out of the wheel itself. And it's probably just like an air bubble. Like when you make the wheels air bubble, it just eventually rises and finds its way to come out of the wheel. So every time I take it to you, it says, no, we can't do it. So you gotta find a wheel specialist shop and they quoted me like hundred plus dollars to fix it. So I'm trying to say this in the long run, just buy like legit wheels. Don't go for the aftermarket ones that are, you know, not quality or kind of sketchy, but I had to just have these ones when they like, first came out. So maybe they changed their way since then, but just something to look out for when you're buying uh, aftermarket wheels that aren't from a legit brand. And then the other thing I was just going to show you guys is these are uh, 595 Evo tires. Um, and on the front, I got 245, 45, 19s in the front. And let's see if you can see it. Right there. You see that? That little strip right there. Well, this morning I was driving and I hear like this loud noise. So I pull over, didn't see a bag or anything inside my wheels. So I was like, whatever. Look closer and I saw this just hanging from my wheel, like my tire. And so I was like, are you serious? It's like the actual like thread, like the wire. It's like hanging out of the actual wheel. So I was like, there's no way, like my luck is this bad. So now it looks like I gotta, gotta buy a new tire as well because, you know, just. You know, just lowered car problem life, even though it doesn't even matter if it's lowered or not. Well, just a little update video showing you why you shouldn't uh, buy, or what the risks are of buying aftermarket wheels that aren't legit works. You know, they're just fake works, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Maybe I should just trash the G35 and just drive this thing around for the rest of my life. Because that's reliable, right?